Hello friends, welcome to education for your channel. Please subscribe my channel so you will get benefits of all the video. Breach course start at 10th subject English. Test number 3. Question number 1st. Develop a story with the help of the following beginning. Suggest a suitable title. Once was a poor boy. His name was Dinesh. He had no dash dash. So here we have to complete the story. The answer is the suitable title for the story is Honesty is the best policy. Once there was a poor boy. His name was Dinesh. He had no support from anyone to take a education because he lost his father when he was very small. His mother used to wash clothes at many houses to fulfill their needs. Dinesh decided to find a job to take an admission in a college. Within few days, he was appointed in a big shop. Within few days, Dinesh owned the heart of his mother by working hard with honesty. He studied at night and worked for a whole day. One day, the owner of the shop watched to test the honesty of the Dinesh before making him partner. One day at night, he dropped a bundle of note at the time of closing the shop. At the morning, he told Dinesh to open the shop alone. When Dinesh went to the shop to open it, he became surprised. He saw a bundle of the currency notes of 100 rupees. When the owner of the shop arrived, Dinesh handed the money of his owner. He was pleased to see Dinesh honesty and made him his partner. So here we learn the honesty is the best policy. Question number 2. Observe the picture and write down what the children are doing. So the answer is The picture above is of a park. We can see many children doing many activity. They are with the relaxation. Two boys are playing football between them. Another single boy is enjoying of swing. The girl under a tree is reading a book with the interest. A boy sitting under a tree is drawing a picture. There is also a boy who is observing something from the telescope by sitting on the branch of the tree. The whole atmosphere is cheerful. Question number 3a. Do as directed. Identify a quotation and an undramatic expression from the below sentences and write down. First, pull yourself together. Answer, idomatic expression. Second, live ads if you were to die tomorrow. Answer is, quotation. B. Write a dialogue between you and your mother about making tea. Answer is, I. Mom, can you teach me how to make a tea? Mother, why not? Take a pot and put it on the gas stove. I. Mom, what should I do now? Mother, pour a two cups of water and make it boil then add the sugar and tea powder. I. When should I add milk? Mother, when the mixture starts boiling, add milk in it. I. Mom, I think my tea is ready. Mother, very nice. Question number 4. A. Read the passage carefully and paraphrases the underlined word phrases. I like the poem for the very reason that anyone else would like it for its humor. I also like the poem because the poet balanced the extra creations with the seemingly convincing logic. Answer. First, exaggeration. The overstatement or overuse. Second, convincing. Capable of causing someone to believe that something is true. B. Do as directed. Question number B. First, here we have to underline the subordinate clause in the both the sentence and the name. 
first if you study regularly you will get good marks so here we underline the if you study regularly this is the adverb clause of condition second the turn the pages which were yellow and crinkly answer is this which were yellow and crinkly is the adjective clause question number 2 First, Methil saw some bracelet change into passive voice. Answer, some bracelet were seen by Methil. Second, the story was told by the writer. Change into active voice. Answer, the writer told the story. Third, first, she likes to sing a song. Underline infinitive. So here, to sing is the infinitive. Second, playing a violin is the best hobby. Underline the gerund. Answer is playing. So friends, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.